it's your boy Noto. Coming to you another video. Coming to you another podcast, man. And in today's podcast, we're going to talk about how the body game offends people. Part three, bro. And I, I know that y'all guys like these videos, these uh, body game offends people, because y'all know, y'all know exactly what I'm talking about, bro. Y'all know exactly what I'm talking about. It definitely offends people. And I'm glad you guys noticed that and understand that. Because uh, there's this time in the gym, right? You just going you, you I'm, I'm sitting out here banging out sets, banging out sets, or whatever. And I was getting down to my last set, and somebody knew, they knew I was about to go over there for another set, bro. They knew I was gonna go over there to get another set. They gonna go and grab the weight that I was working out with, and then go uh, and then go put it down, and then go put it down on the floor and stand around and stretch around it, bro. Like, come on, bro. Like, they just gonna grab it and stretch around it. They're like, okay, you don't want me to bang out my last set, bro. Are you a dad offended by by the weight that I'm? You know what I'm saying? You can tell they did it in a nasty way. It wasn't just no, okay, I ain't know he was done and nothing like that. They did that in a nasty way. They knew that and they looked over there at me and I looked over there at them. Bro, I was like, bro, did you really just take the weight just to sit over there and stretch? And they stretched for a while too before they even started using it. Because the way I was using the curl whip, they were trying to use that to squat with. They were trying to hold it, I guess, arm length away and squat with it. And I was like, Bro, I just, I just went on and walked off, bro. And I was like, bro, that, that was aggravating, bro. And it just like, it just offends people, bro. It's going, it, it, you're going, you're going to offend a whole lot of people that you come across just by looking the way you are. And you guys know this, bro. Like, you ever thought about it a time when you just go and you just walk out of the tank top and people just feel like you bragging. People just feel like you, people just feel like you just trying to show off just because you want to wear a comfortable tank top, bro. See, just because you comfortable in in, in, in a tight fitted clothes, but what it really is, it's a reflection of what they aren't. Like I've said, like I said previously, this is there's a reflection of what they aren't and what what they they didn't have the discipline to achieve, nor want to put in the work to put in the work to get. It takes work. You got to force yourself to to gain muscle, guys. You have to you have to put in the work to get it. What you put in is what you get out of it. And a lot of people don't want to put that work in, so they rather shame you since it's easier to do that than to go bang it out in the gym and, and build muscle over years. It's, it's easier to do that. It's easier to get them newbie gains. It's, it's easier to uh, sit there and, uh, and make insults towards people with muscles and try to do passive aggressive jokes. Just saying like little passive little slick jokes about you. Saying, oh, you think you the muscle man. Uh, Oh, you, 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 you like, like you trying to act like you want Baywatch out here? The, you know what I'm saying? The same little, little lame ass shit is to try to get at you, bro. And it, it, it's really just getting old. It really just gets old, bro. Because like, a lot of time I remember when I was in line at college, right? And we was in the cab. I was about to uh, get some food, right? I'll never forget this. It was two girls sitting with this dude. It was two girls, it was two red girls. One of them, both of them was bad. One of them looked like she danced, but the other one looked like she was innocent, but she was bad too. She was tatted too, but the other one looked like, you know what I'm saying? It almost looked like yin and yang. Looked like, you know, like the big sister looked like she on, she with it, and the little girl, the little sister that she with, no, look like she with it, but she'll probably just go along with it because she doing it. It looked like, it, it was in that type of situation. They were sitting there with this girl. They were, I mean, they were sitting there with this dude, right? Those two girls were sitting at the table with this one dude, like, I guess he was a basketball player. And I was getting the calf in line, right? I was coming out of line. They table was right at the end of the line where you get your food and you walk off. They were sitting there staring, and, they was, and she was like, ooh, look at him, because I just came out the gym, right? And I had on my waistband on. I was in there with my tank top. I'm talking about, like, I'm pumped. I'm pumped like a motherfucker. I'm 230, my muscles, my muscles just pumped out because I had to bang it out. I was hitting arms and chest that day. I was hitting chest and arms that day. And I did a little bit of back because I did some uh I supersetted it with some uh with some pull-ups. And some and some bench and some uh and some and some regular push-ups and some uh and some dips. So that day I was really getting in. I was one thing about me, bro, I was always able to do some dips, bro. No matter how heavy I was, I was able to do some dips. At least at least five or six dips, bro. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Them dips is always always had strong pushing power. But anyway, deviate for the sudden, get back. It offended him so much that that the girls was watching me. Why did why he was talking to them? They were sitting there watching me and the other girl, she put she kind of put the fork on her lip and, and like looked at me in a seductive way. The younger one and the other one, she was looking like, ooh, she she patted the older one and they looked over at me 
and he gonna look up like, man, he gonna smack his teeth. I'm like, bro, like you. <laughs> I'm like, bro, I will never forget that. Bro, I know I probably told this story a couple times, but bro, like, I will never forget that because you were that offended that you had to be like, man, and, and smack your teeth like a bitch. Bro, like that shit just be like, that shit kind of, it kind of aggravated me at first, but then I was like, man, whatever, man. It is what it is. People gonna be offended either way you look at it, either way you do anything, bro. Like that time when I uh I got a shirt right, I ordered a shirt off of a Wish. You know, I like to shop on Wish. I like to wear my anime stuff, bro. But the shirt was end up being tighter than it is because I ain't know about the sizes and stuff like that. I ain't know they come a size tighter. But at the end of the day, the shirt looked real good on me. And I was going out to this event or whatever. And they were like, damn, your shirt tight as a mother. You know, they, they were trying to be funny. But it's no, it's funny how the dudes were saying stuff, but the girls was like, damn, bro, you look jacked. You look huge. You know what I'm saying? They were sitting there feeling on me and shit. But the dudes were trying to crack jokes on me. So they were trying to hide that they was offended by me by trying to crack little jokes about the time saying my, my, my shirt was so tight I can't breathe and all that when I could clearly pull my shirt without, you know what I'm saying? The only thing it was tied around was my chest and my arms, bro. Like around my stomach area and all that. Nah. That's usually how it is. It fit like it fit like a muscle shirt. On. But at the same time, when you got good muscular development and you wearing a shaft smaller than what you than what hangs off of you, a couple sizes, like two sizes smaller, that shit gonna hug you, bro. It's gonna it's, it's gonna hug you. Every, everything, damn near, damn near everything gonna look like a muscle shirt on you after a while. If it, if it's a little bit tired, if it uh, and if it uh, hug your body a little bit, everything gonna damn near look like a muscle shirt on you, bro. So you're gonna have to get used to that. And that's gonna that's gonna offend a lot of people. They just feel like, well, he just wearing a tight shirt because he just wanna show off his muscle and all this other stuff, bro. That, like, man, bro, don't 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 pay no attention to that, guys. Don't give a damn what nobody say, bro. If you wanna wear your tight shirt, wear your shit, man. Wear your shit. Don't give a damn what don't give a damn what nobody say, bro. They 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 jealous, bro. They jealous. That's all that shit is. They jealous as hell. Don't give a damn about none of that. We gonna bang it out of the gym and we gonna come back big on their ass too. And we gonna come back more cut and defined or whatever whatever gold you chasing, bro. If you're roughing it, hey, keep it keep it big, keep the swagger, whatever. Still, you can wear your fitted clothes, bro. They be like, why are your clothes fit so tight and all this other stuff? Because my, I like I like I like my frame. I'm proud of my frame. You see what I'm saying? I, I'm proud of my frame. Why why your clothes don't fit like that? Why your why your why your sleeves can't why your sleeves ain't hugging? Why your why your chest can't why your chest can't fill out a shirt? All right then. You got work to do, so stop worrying about what the hell I'm doing. See what I'm saying? Like they, they be jealous of, just jealous of other stuff, so they they get offended. That's why the body game is offensive to people. It offends a lot of people, the people that that don't want to put in the work, the people that never even want to step foot in the gym. They just want to talk shit about you all day, bro. And I really get tired of it. But at the same time, hey, you ain't doing something right if you ain't got no haters, man. Tell you that right now, a lot of the good dudes that's going through that, bro. You ain't you, you bro. I'm telling y'all, bro. If you you ain't doing something right, if you ain't got no haters, bro. Straight up. But this this coming from a big dude that's always been always been muscular, bro. I've always been muscular. For since like since like high school, I've always been muscular. That's when it that's when it started. When I started working out, bro. Like it, it everything soared on from there, bro. And I noticed like a whole. I've been living the body game, using the body game my whole life. So that's why I have so many experiences, bro. I got hundreds of stories, bro. <laughs> like hundreds of stories, bro. And if y'all want to hear more of them, bro, like I can. But right now I'm just talking about how it offends people, bro. Like in a, in a general space, like it'll offend people. And it like, it, it makes them, it makes them just do little s- smart, little passive aggressive stuff. Like, like I say, there's always some passive aggressiveness going on with these guys. It's always like that. And you always gonna feel like that, but I'm saying like y'all just gotta deal with it. Y'all see it. I get to the point. I get to the point now. I just see it, and I just be like, okay, yeah, he he he, he ain't. Yeah, he, he trying to. Yeah, he he doing his little thing. Yeah, he think he, he think he doing something. You know what I'm saying? As long as he ain't coming to you with it, trying to trying to uh, one trying to uh, disrespect you or none of that, bro. Y'all just brush that shit off, bro. It's gonna keep happening, and you gonna end up find, fighting endless battles behind that shit, man. Don't worry about. Them, how they react when they offended. Long as you, long as they ain't coming up to you, they ain't saying they can let them talk whatever they want to say. Say for the jokes, they just, you know, laugh it off. But like, hey, yeah, yeah, what's up? Man? My shirt tight, yeah, but I still can fucking bitch. But say, but anyway, 
you know, it just it's just crazy. And you offend, you offend a lot of women too. Yeah, a lot of women that feel like the thing is, you're gonna offend most of the women that feel like they can't get you. Them the ones you're gonna really offend, like the ones that know that they probably got a shot or uh, know something like that, know they look like something, they most likely ain't gonna be really offended unless, cause it, you, you also have some hating ass females, but they know what they look like in the mirror, bro. And they know what kind of chicks that you would go after. And they know that they don't fit that description. So a lot of them gonna be hating on you as well. They gonna, they gonna be offended by you wearing a tank top. Like, why you wearing a tank top? But why you always wearing a tank Why you always, why, it ain't nobody else in here complaining. I get the same reactions. Women wanna come feel up on me, wanna come say they love my muscles, all that. It always them first, them couple, one or two. That's why I'm saying, like, if, if the majority is liking it, bro, you're not doing nothing too wrong, bro. You're going to have your haters or whatever. But when the overwhelming majority like it, bro, you're not doing nothing wrong, bro. Straight up. You're going to offend a whole bunch of people on a daily basis, bro. The body game, you lose lives in the body game, you're going to offend a lot of people on a daily basis, guys. So just going to get used to that. Hey, charge it to the game and keep doing you. Don't, don't start working out. Don't, don't be offended. Don't feel like you got to dumb it down just because nobody else, just because they don't understand you and none of that. You ain't meant to be understood. You meant to understand getting that atrophy and getting that lifting them damn weights and making them gains. That's what you understand. That's all we need to understand damn stand right now. You feel me? So yeah, don't ever, don't ever dumb yourself down just to fit in with people that, that want to be average, bro. Because at the end of the day, they want you to be average and you're above average. And they gonna keep hating on you till you come down. They trying to bring you down to their level, bro. That's all it is, bro. It exposes what they aren't. But anyway, it's your boy Noto. Coming to you another video, man. Coming to you with more podcasts, man. I appreciate the subscribers. I appreciate everybody. And with a like, comment, and subscribe if you made it this far. And I'm out, guys. Uh -huh.